Okay, we're back, um, and we are now going on to our next contrast, which I think is the easiest one, frankly, but um, sort of don't underestimate it, I guess, right? Still give it good attention, because there's ways to intensify um, the contrast here that are a little more subtle, I think. Um, so we're going to look at value contrast. Again, um, we're sticking with one single color, right? And we're trying to make it look as if it's two different colors. In this case, colors that have two really different values, right? So one of these will end up looking darker and one of these will end up looking lighter, even though they're the same strip color, okay? So that's the first step is, again, choosing our strip color. We could go ahead and keep with the same one if we wanted to um, from the last thing. Let's, um, hmm. Yeah, okay, we could do that. Let's I I'm gonna eyedropper in. So I'm going to my eyedropper and I'm just clicking on that. And then I gotta go back to my select or I'll eyedropper in, you know, white or whatever. Okay. So we're gonna start out with this. I may find this is a little high chroma to work effectively, but we'll see. So the basic let me just go through this. This is the basic example. This is the basic process of you know creating value contrast okay if we are going to really make this absolutely basic um then I, we will choose we would choose what black and i can just go up here right for one and you know white for the other we can see that this looks really light and this looks like it's quite dark okay um you know so, but but we want to do something that's not as as boring as that, right? But so one of these has to be pretty dark, right? And the other has to be really quite light. But they don't have to be, you know, we can still get this to work really effectively even without hitting those extremes of value, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do, um, one thing that is helpful here is to also think about um, that law of addition, right? And what would happen to each of these colors um, if we dropped a veil of its complement over here, right? A, a, a whatever field color we choose. So if I want, um, you know, we can think of, let's see, this is a blue green, so it's got blue and yellow in it, right? Blue, yellow, green, right? You know, that that's all, I mean, blue, green is obviously blue and yellow, but in that range, right? So if I want this to appear lighter, right, I might want to choose a hue that's going to actually drop a veil of yellow over here. Why? I'm glad you asked. Because, no, it's okay. Because yellow, right, is the hue with the lightest value. And it's high in chroma, right? So if I add yellow to this, it's going to get lighter in value. Okay, already. So, what is what will drop a veil of yellow over this, right? What hue? Hmm. What is the then that means we need what is the complement of yellow, right? And that is purple. So if I select some kind of purple, first of all, let's get rid of the black stroke, right? And then we're on select. We're gonna bring the the fill box forward. Double click on it. Okay. We're almost close to violet anyway. So if I go closer to violet here, right, and I, you know, I, I want to choose, a, let's say I'll choose a violet, right, Some, and I can see how far up I can go. I might be able to go, you know, somewhere up here in value a little bit, you know, higher in value. Um, and, and select this, right? And that should then drop a veil of its complement, right, which is yellow, over top of this blue-green rectangle, okay? And, you know, I would say, doesn't this look more yellow as it is? Like, it's more vibrant, right? It's like a little brighter, you know, and more, it's lighter. It looks lighter, right, than it did. Um, okay. So let's now think, if we want to make this look darker, right, think about your experience of mixing complements, right, into colors, right? So um, the complement of blue-green, right, if you can, if you go back, you know, to your color wheel, you can figure this out, whatever is directly opposite blue-green, 
um, you're going to find out what that red orange, right, is the complement of blue green. And so that's going to tend to, it's going to tend to dull this down. Um, you could also think of like, gosh, if, if I drop the darkest of all hues, a, you know, a veil of the darkest of all hues over here, which is violet, then, you know, that will darken this, okay? Um, so maybe we tried that first, right? So then we have to go to the opposite of purple, right? If we choose yellow, that will drop a veil of purple over this, darkening this, right? And also dulling it down a little bit too. Um, I hope this makes sense to you all, but you can, you know, if you write this down, it's, I'm telling you, you, you will be, it was, will be so much more organized in your head. Okay. And it's important to do that, especially as you're first learning all of this stuff. Okay. It's not, it can get easily so complicated. Um, double click on the fill, going to go to yellow. Right. And I could also see what happens if I do, what is it? Red, uh, red, orange is the complement of blue green. So we can also see how that works too. But let's go for that yellow first. And let's go somewhere like not that light. Let's try that. Right. Oh, that's not so good. Right. I don't think that is very good at all. Um, hold on. So you can see, right, that, you know, I, but I also think, okay, so here, what if we did this instead, right? Does this work? Okay, that works pretty well, right? Yes, this looks darker. This is, looks lighter. It's not that extreme. Um, let's see what happens if we go, uh, <laughs> actually, no, what do we, I'm sorry, gosh. All right, so if we want, okay, so if we want to drop a veil, uh, or if we want to put its complement here, it actually has to, I'm sorry, it has to be the same hue, right, as that blue-green, right? So this, if, if I have a blue-green background, it's going to drop a veil of red-orange over this and make it duller looking. So that's the other thing that we can try. Um, let's go back. I hope that makes sense. I'm sorry. Again, you can see how it gets confusing even you know, for me. Um, okay, so here we go, right? And that actually works better, right? It seems like that's gotten darker, right? Duller, it's, you know, it's it's sort of darker, shadowy looking, especially if we go back even. That looks, you know, still fairly vibrant for whatever reason, okay? Ooh, and, and certainly more than that, sorry. So let's go back. Um, all right, so remember, okay, so if we add this, if we go to that same hue family and we still do, you know, we could do something that's like this even, I bet, not as light as light. And that still looks a lot darker than this, doesn't it? This looks like it's this color right here and it's, and it's not. Um, we could also intensify that by, you know, maybe what happens if we go duller here? What will that do? That's pretty good too, right? Um, we could also go really, you know, just really dark. Okay. And again, the more contrast you have um, between these two field colors, you know, the, the more intense, you know, that will be. Um, okay. So I hope that helps. Um, Okay, so again, you know, thinking about, let's say if we have, let's try a different, let's try a different strip color real quick. Um, and again, you have to choose something that's kind of a middle value. If you choose something that's dark, right, we could go in that same kind of hue family um, and that sort of bluish green and choose something ooh, that's really dark and right and and even with this you still have a value contrast there which is actually pretty amazing but you can see that you don't have that much room to play with right because you're already at this extreme um and so in order to get that you know you really are forced down into these um lower reaches um in terms of making that contrast sort of visible but that actually still does work. It's much harder though, you know, it's it's much easier. You, you have more flexibility if you choose a middle value um, strip color, okay? Let's try it really, really light and you'll see. Um, 
that that it has its issue. Oop, again, I forgot this one. Okay, so we're already pretty close to white here, and you can see there's not, this does not look a whole lot, you know, I mean, it doesn't look much darker. Or actually, you know, one of these things here is the field color has to be lighter than one of these, okay? So if we go, we can go lighter, and I still think you won't see much of a difference. There we go. That's a little bit lighter than that sample color or the strip color. And you see a little bit of that value contrast, but not a whole lot, right? We can go even further with that, right? And you see a little bit. And that's still effective, right? I mean, you know, I actually kind of like that, but it's still, you know, um, generally speaking, if you have a middle value um, strip color, that, that will function better, okay? Um, I hope that helps. Um, all right, thank you.